Okay, we're ready for the last lesson in this unit, uh, look, learning about absolute value equations and inequalities. So when you're done with this lesson, you're going to be able to write and solve inequalities involving absolute value. First of all, I want you to pause the video and work this warm up and then come back in a little bit and we'll check your answer. So first of all, we're wanting to see how far did the elevator travel. So we took five trips and each trip it went this far. But we're wanting to know how, it, how far it traveled each time. So we're going to use absolute value for our negative numbers. So it went a total of 33 12 foot trips. So that's 396 feet total. The key concepts for this lesson are the steps to solve an absolute value inequality. First of all, we're going to isolate the absolute value expression, write it as a compound inequality using AND or an OR. We're going to solve the inequalities. So let's look at example one. Already the absolute value has been isolated. So we're going to set it up for a positive 5 and a negative 5. Notice we flipped the sign. Okay, so it's less than 5, but it's greater than negative 5. Now we're going to solve it, so we add 1 to both sides, divide both sides by 3. Again on this side, add 1 to both sides, divide both sides by 2. I'm sorry, I said 3 by 2. We get 3 here and a negative 2 here. So it is and, notice it's just greater than and less than. So we're going to have open circles, and we shade in between the two because it's less than 3 and it's greater than negative 2. So this section in between is where they're both shaded. All right, this one we have to do some extra steps. We've got to isolate this absolute value. So we're going to start by subtracting 6 from both sides. Then we're going to divide both sides by 2. Now we can set it up where it's greater than or equal to 5, less than or equal to negative 5. So we're going to subtract or add 5 to both sides and divide both sides by 2. We're going to add 5 to both sides, divide both sides by 2. Notice greater than 5 and less than or equal to 0. So we're going in opposite directions here. Both of them or equal to, so we have a closed in circle. Very good, you're ready to begin your assignment. 